Patriot Pen Essay Contest is for all U.S. citizens in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, homeschool, private school, or public school. Each year, the National VFW Commander establishes that the theme will be for your essay. Your essay needs to be 300 to 400 words. This year's theme for 2022 is How Can I Be a Good American? Congratulations to Morgan Hughes of VFW Post 4764 for winning the Patriots pin for Arkansas State in 2021. Just a reminder to all 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, whether you're private, public, or homeschooled, that you can enter into the Patriots pin contest, and the theme of this year is How Can I Be a Good American? The deadline is October 31st. Visit VFW.org to find your local VFW where you can submit your essay. The VFWs have drop boxes or you can mail them in. You can win at your post, district, or state like I did. Everyone has a chance to win, so make sure to enter. I won $1,500, so you can too, so make sure to submit those essays. I'm honored to have my name on the Paul Alvin Harrison plaque in the state headquarters with these two outstanding state winners. We're looking forward to our state winner for 2022. How can I be a good American? Get your entries in by October 31st and good luck to everyone. My name is Morgan Hughes and I'm honored to be the Arkansas State winner of the Paul Alvin Harrison Award VFW Patriot Pen Scholarship for the year 2021. Having my name etched on the memorial plaque. I look forward to our 2022 Arkansas State winner. Good luck to everyone nationwide and remember this contest takes place each fall national deadline of October 31st. Get your entry in. National to compete with for a $5,000 scholarship plaque and $550 from the VFW and its auxiliary. And uh, first place is sponsored by Ashley and Melissa Little. For the last four years, uh, my wife and I have sponsored the uh, uh, first place and uh, in honor of my cousin. And I always uh, use the phrase, although I never knew him, I've known him all my life because we kept his. Uh, memory alive and uh, I'll read just a quick little I guess you might call it a bio. Paul Alvin Harrison was born on August 3rd 1945. He had enlisted in the United States Marine Corps, entered the service via regular military, served during the Vietnam War. He began his tour on May 23rd 1967. Harrison had the rank of corporal. His military occupational, his military occupational skill was artillery cannoneer and he was attached to Alpha Battery, 11th Marines, 1st Battalion, 3rd Marine Division. During service in Vietnam, Corporal Harrison experienced a traumatic event which ultimately resulted in the loss of life. Paul Alvin Harrison was a 1963 graduate of Crossett High School and had been in the Marine Corps for two years. His death came only 30 days before he was to be rotated back to the United States. He was killed by mortar fire while helping defend a Marine base in Thuthine Province, South Vietnam. Paul Alvin is buried at Pinewood Memorial Park in Crossett, Arkansas, and Paul is honored on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. And if you would like to visit him, he's on panel 54, E, line B. His commendations while in the Marine Corps was a Purple Heart, Combat Action Ribbon, National Defense Service Medal, Vietnam Campaign Medal, Vietnam Service Medal, Marine Corps Presidential Citation, Vietnam Gall Gallantry Cross, Marine Corps Good Conduct Medal, and Marine Corps Expeditionary Medal. Thank you. Hey guys, VFW Post 2283, Ezekiel Leonard, first place. be a good American. Many people might wonder what it means to be a good American. 
In my opinion, a good American is someone who upholds the laws of the country. A good American should have characteristics that include generosity, integrity, honesty, loyalty, and most of all, patriotism. I think a good American should respect fellow citizens, their environment, their community, and their country. People need to make stronger bonds with their neighbors. Not everybody is called to be a soldier in our great military or to be a politician, but every citizen of the U.S. can help out by volunteering in their local communities. You can volunteer at your local animal shelter, participate in city trash cleanups, food pantries, or simply mow the lawn for your neighbor. President John F. Kennedy once said, My fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Americans should do just that. A good American should have strong integrity. Integrity is having the ability, ability to keep their moral principles. It is not enough for a person to just know what the right thing to do is. They also need the courage to actually do the right thing. Americans should never give up no matter what they're dealing with. Striving and standing up for what you believe in is also a sign of strong integrity. And it is important. Good Americans want to keep our country looking nice, so no matter if you're picking up trash or recycling, you're still helping your environment stay clean and healthy. Lastly, good American citizens should be proud of the country that is being protected by millions of people each day. One should be thankful for our military and our first responders like policemen, firemen, and EMTs. I'm thankful for what I have, and I know it's due to the brave men and women that keep us safe daily. Good Americans need to thank that veterans have given our country their time, energy, and they have sacrificed so much. They are appreciated for fighting for all of our freedoms, and saying thank you just doesn't seem adequate. In all of good Americans' eyes, they should be heroes to us all and our country. We should love them like every good American. This is what I think it means to be a good American citizen. Thank you. When did you find out about this program? Around October 5th. Around October 6th. And you're in Morgan Hughes' class. When you saw her video, was that the first time you ever saw the Patriot Pen we, program? We got introduced to it. Like, our teacher talked about it. Then we watched a video about Morgan. Who was the teacher? Was it Julie? Uh, it was uh, our geography teacher, Mr. Tanner. I personally drove to uh, B Branch to film Morgan, and uh, it, it was very, very fun to spend the day up there. We went to Greer's Ferry Lake and Clinton and just filmed at different locations, but it wore her out. Literally, we were there all day filming, and it was like she had so many messages to put out. She was trying to motivate middle school kids all over the country, and, and uh, she was our youngest winner for, for 2021. They showed, they showed the video... I know that Julie Nelson saw it. Uh, she was our VFW Teacher of the Year that particular year that Morgan won. Oh. So that even made more icing on the cake for B Branch School and put B Branch on the map. I've never heard of B Branch. Again, I'm from the Fort Smith, Arkansas area, VFW District 7. And we won the Patriot Pen three years in a row. And now we gave it up to Morgan Hughes in 2021. And now we're giving it up again in 2022 to the same school. Same class. Same class. Yeah. So that, it, to me, that's amazing. Wow. I mostly worked on the, now, sorry, Mom, for this, but I stayed up a while. One night, I stayed up till 11 o'clock uh, working on this. Yeah. <laughs> um, the deadline was October 31st. When did when did you find out about it before you even started working on it? So, I found out about it around October 5th, and then uh, I started working on it around the 8th, and then I finished it by the 12th. So, you had less than a month? Yeah. Wow. 